David, thank you for joining us so quickly after full time. Um, it's a disappointing result, obviously, but the performance was about as good as it could have been tonight, I thought. Yeah, 100%. Um, we're all gutted in there to lose the game in the last 10 minutes um, after a brilliant save um, by Chappers. And then to concede again in the set piece, um, yeah, we're, we're gutted to, to, to lose the game like that. Both goals came against the, the run of play with. We seem to boss the ball, really take the game to them. The pressing was about as high and intense as, as it could have been. That must be something, you know, maybe not right at the second, but in a little while you guys can be proud of. Yeah, I feel like um, it's just little times of lack of concentration that's letting us down at times. Um, like you said, against the runner play. Um, it was obviously a good side, but we definitely should have won, won today. And then both their goals... We're going to be disappointed looking back, looking back at that. So um, yeah, uh, we're all gutted in there. Um, it's one, of, it's, it's a tough one to take, but we have to go again. It's hard, I suppose, for us watching it to see the effort you guys put in to be overly disappointed because the the level of performance, the the commitment, the positivity, especially in the final third, seems to be getting towards the levels that we want it to be. Is that something that you guys are, are recognising in yourselves that you're building and, and improving? Yeah, hundred percent. Obviously, we want to be a team that attack that, that that go forward as well we don't just want to defend all games so yeah it's definitely a thing that we're getting better at um bringing bringing the game to the opposition as well and creating our own chances in the final third and and attacking with, with speed and directness so um i feel like we have done better than done better at that in the last couple of games um as you see today we had loads of chances loads of balls in the box um it was just yeah unlucky not to to win the game in the end Playing on the, the right wing, playing at right back isn't something that's new in your career. People will probably recognise you more as a, a box to box mm. midfielder uh, yeah. by trade. But over these past couple of games, your performances have, have been really eye catching. It's been something that the supporters have noticed. Um, how have you evaluated your own performance out there? Um, today, I don't, I don't think it was one of my best games. Um, but it's, it is a tough position, obviously. But um, if the gaffer needs me to play there, I'll give 100%. That's. that's um, standard and then um i try try my best obviously i'm not a wing back but i'm happy to help the team wherever um today was a bit a bit difficult uh the fullback was very good defensively so um it's another game i'll look at and take take positives from it and hopefully i can improve my game and and i'm happy to be versatile when playing different positions in the end of, at the end of the day so um yeah we'll, we'll just look forward now being honest i think you've been a little bit hard on yourself there but obviously you, you're on toughest critic the the position allows you to, to drop in and be an extra body in the middle when needed. We see you nicking the ball there when you can, but bombing on and, and getting into the final third seems to be something that you, you're really enjoying at the moment. Is that a part of your game that you, you, you're looking to build on? Yeah, obviously, naturally, naturally out of position, I'm always looking forward to try and win the ball, so I'm always on the front foot. So playing in that position, I guess, um, you do get at times to be able to go in the middle and, and try and nick it try and nick it higher up um but yeah it's all about bringing energy and bombing forward and obviously you, you've got to do two jobs you've got to basically be a winger and, and a fullback at the, at, the, at the same time so it's difficult but um yeah i, I like to try and bring my strengths and, and and see what i can do on the other side there's obviously jaheem but you know you've got the the defenders there in the middle uh Uta, tom and mihal does that make it slightly easier on you, knowing that there's a, a settled unit either side to, for you to slot in, play with, and sort of learn from and grow with? Yeah, hundred percent. I feel like the, the defenders we have are proper solid. Uh, we don't really see a better bunch of centre backs in the league. Really, um, we uh, we we do rely on them a lot because obviously we're man for man that time, so they they got to win their individual battles, and I feel like majority of the time they do. Um, today, obviously, the set piece the set piece goal that. Made Middlesbrough win the win the game is it's 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 a, it's a bad one because obviously we've conceded another set piece against Norwich so it's something we need to look at and and just make sure our concentration lasts the whole game in every in every scenario whether it's a set piece whether it's a one on one whatever it is we've got to stay switched on and can't give teams easy easy ways out. I suppose uh, you know having been on the end of some results previously they've seemed like wins that we've allowed the other team to have easily. And this wasn't the case for Middlesbrough tonight. They had to to really nick that from us. Um, to not being disrespectful, that that's probably the, the way the game felt a little bit. 
is that a sign of progression for us that the time teams are having to, to work harder against us and, and earn you know any point they get from us a little bit more? Yeah, hundred percent. Like obviously Middlesbrough, good side. They're probably battling for the playoffs or whatever. And if you watch the game, you would say that we deserve the win. Um, but it's one of them ones, and probably makes makes us feel worse because it's one of them ones they had to try so hard to win that game, and then they score a goal like that after our saving up after Chapter saving the penalty. Um, it does make it a harder pill to swallow, but this it is what it is, and um, we got to look back at it. Now it's time to recover and look on to, uh, to the next game. I think one of the, the easiest barometers for how to judge a performance is how the supporters react at the end of the game. Um, obviously, if, if you know the level of performance isn't there, they're not shy and letting you know. But also, even when the result hasn't gone our way tonight, the lads were clapped off the field. Um, the response on social media has been positive. I think that the effort was recognised. The the way we want to play, the, a little bit more front foot today has been you know recognised and appreciated. That must give you guys a little bit of confidence and belief to know that the supporters are behind you and they're, they're buying into the way you want to play now, especially after the performance against Blackburn seemingly giving us a platform this week as well. Yeah, 100%. And I feel like the supporters watching it can see we've gone toe-to-toe with a very good side. It's not like we've sat off and just soaked all the pressure and haven't really aimed for anything. We've been attacking, we've created chances, we've 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 shown some entertaining stuff. So... I, we thank the fans, obviously, for for the support all the time. Um, we're just very disappointed we couldn't get number three points there. Cass, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us. Thank you.